Manchester United 2, Everton 0. Three points in the lunchtime kickoff at Old Trafford. Kenny, it was quite smooth sailing for us today, actually, wasn't it? A pretty complete performance from United. Yeah, I, th I think it was a, a ten-ag masterclass today. He made a number of changes, a couple of surprises with selections, but obviously with the rotation, we played six. We played three games in six days, and we have another three games coming up, you know, in quick succession. So yeah, he made the changes, but I thought the biggest change today that he made and the biggest influence on the game was Bruno Fernandes. I thought Bruno Fernandes in that deep line midfield was absolutely superb. His transition of play, speed of the pass, his accuracy, his reading of the game, incredible. Really, really good. Uh, Sabitza played, was the most forward of the, of the midfielders in the first half. And then we saw uh, McTominay in the middle. But we didn't. it was as if we didn't need the midfield because as soon as Bruno got the ball in our own, uh, you know, quarter, it was straightforward and Sancho, uh, I thought, was excellent. His first touch, his control was excellent. Really good. Anthony, uh, progressing the ball forward, superb. However, a few words of warning from the point of view that we had a record 21 attempts at goal. <laughs> and I don't think, I don't honestly don't think, it, uh, Pitford made a lot of saves, but we could have saved them because I thought mm. the finishing was very poor. I did. Wambasaka's miss uh, was oh. luring. Anthony <laughs> yeah. had two or three one-on-ones. Rashford had two or three one-on-ones. Uh, and to be honest, Pickford wasn't making world-class saves. Most no. of those saves were straight at him. So they was very, very poor. We still can't get out of the wanting to score world is from outside the box. And we had four or five attempts from outside the box in the first half. Where if I was ten, I'd be going mad at them because every time we go in their box, Sancho in particular is one touch, his little passes through. He did the uh, assist from McTominay. He split their defence. Was excellent, excellent. But at the end of the day, we had twenty-one attempts on goal, and we've complained in the first half. All we've complained all season. We're not creating enough chances. Today we we created them and couldn't score them. But I think from a point of view with regards to confidence going forward into the back end of the season, we've got some really big games coming up. We've got Sevilla. We're going to Wembley in two weeks' time. We've got Forest next week. We've got, you know, with two or three uh, cup games. That's massive, that. And if we've got Casemiro coming back, what I'd love to see, I'd really love to see, I'd love to see Cam Casemiro and Bruno sat right back because Bruno's passing range today and his accuracy was super, absolutely super. Yeah, dictating the tempo, wasn't he? It was easy. Dictating everything. We didn't need brother. He was super. I can't, you know, I can't criticise the man. Now, when we started, this, we scored the first goal. Uh, but Tom Ray took his goal well, took his goal very well. Again, Sancho cut that little pass straight through the defence, cut it. Took his goal well. Second half, we came out and I thought we was a little bit laboured. For for whatever reason, we seem to. And when I when I watched and looked, what he's what he'd done, he he pushed Bruno a little bit further forward and brought McTominay back. It didn't. I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked. Then he made the change at seventy minutes with bringing Martial on. So we then go Sancho on, uh, on the left. Sorry, Rashford on the left. Martial then with the Sancho on the right. Bruno dropped right back again, and again we started to create chances. Bruno was he had lots of space. The first, the deeper Bruno come back, the more space he had, the better he played. He was he, he was excellent. Martial got his goal. Uh, the only so note, obviously, was uh, was Rashford limping off. But Everton didn't offer a lot. But if you look at the record, they've had one win in thirty three. They've only scored twenty three goals all season which is the worst in the Premier League. And we've now got, I think, with eight goals conceded, the best defence in the Premier League at home. So when you put that together, it was always it should have always been a Man United win. But mm. you can only play what's in front of you. Uh, and I take my hat off to him today. I take my hat off to Ten Hag. He, he made the rotation. They, they, they look full of confidence. I like the way Wan Bissaka played, Sancho. Malaysia made a couple of mistakes in key areas and we give away a couple of set pieces on that right-hand side in the first 10 minutes. But 
they never really Sims had one chance, didn't they? Sims, yeah. you know, had one chance and Malice didn't track him back, but you're always going to give chances away. You can't help that. But I think in total today we had twenty nine attempts on goal, which is phenomenal for Man United, the way we've been complaining the last few weeks. The last few yeah. years. If we could create that I'm not saying you're not going to create 29 chances every game, but if you can get in that high teens and 20s and people find, especially with Martial on the pitch, you give Martial them chances, what Anthony had, and I think Martial takes them chances. I do. Yeah. I do, because he's very he's clinical, Martial. He's clinical. Mm. Uh, oh, he Rashford saw that, didn't we? He, he had one chance yeah. and he scored. One he, hadn't really touched the, he, hadn't really, he hadn't really touched the ball that much before exactly. <laughs> he scored his goal, but he's clinical. Exactly. Ericsson came on, which was good. So when we look at it now, apart from the Rashford tweaking of, you know, what could be his groin or whatever, very, very positive going down towards the end of the season. We've got, we're six points clear of, of Tottenham. They play Brighton, well, they're playing Brighton now as we speak. Mm. Uh, so hopefully Brighton will do us a favour. Uh, we've got Sevilla on Thursday and then the following week, uh, Sevilla again and then we're at Wembley. Uh, if we can keep fit and keep that momentum, keep that confidence, uh, I think I think I might be wrong here, but I think that we may see we may see Casemiro and Bruno as a defensive pairing at the back in front of uh, Varane and Martinez at Wembley uh, and against Sevilla. Sabitza did well, didn't I? I thought Sabitza was good. Sabitza mm. was good. He had a few chances, uh, creative, lots of energy. Uh, yeah. No complaints today. You can't have any complaints in that performance against a team no. that were desperate. They were desperate for a draw. Everton yeah. were desperate for a draw. And we tore them yeah. apart. We absolutely yeah. tore them apart. And like you said, what Ten Hag was uh, doing clearly, particularly in the first half, the game plan worked. He didn't He didn't want to overcomplicate stuff in the middle of the pitch. He said, just go long, put the ball over the top. We're not playing veg horse today. We've got Rashford up front. We've got Sancho. We've got Anthony. So we've got pace in behind. And... We did them every single time. Again, like you said, every it's time, a ten-hour masterclass. We never, ever did not. Once we progressed the ball, once we got over the halfway line, a chance was created. Mm. So the distribution from Sancho, from Anthony, from Rashford was, was first class. They just wanted one touch and pass. Away, go. There was no like holding back and let's pass it back and come forward. It was bang, grabbing you. And they did them. Mm. They did them yeah. big time. They did them big time. It was just... A, like I say, that was a game really you should have been looking at four or five nil at half time. I think yeah. if that was a more clinical team, a, a City or an Arsenal, or even a Liverpool on the day, that's a four or five nil at half time. Yeah. We've not got to that stage yet. We've not got to that stage yet. But I'm sure if we can continue to play like that, then that will come. That will come without a doubt. It was excellent today. We can't complain today. No, nope, indeed. Complain. No complaints. Three points at Old Trafford. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Be sure to smash the like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Bottom right-hand corner. And all eyes turn to Thursday. We're out there. Peace.